What's up guys, my name is Jay, and the other day I was working on a project and I installed this thing called Browser Sync, which, um, a very short description, um, you're coding something, a website or project or on a web app, and every time you save, you want the browser to automatic reload a page, so you don't have to do that, like, you don't have to reload manually. So it saves a lot of time, Plus, I'm going to show you at the end of the video something very, very interesting that this thing can do. So before we do anything, you need to install Node.js. Okay, this is very simple. Just click this button. Um, it's going to download and like an, it's like an app. You install it and that's it, right? After that's done, then we can go, we can go here and grab this command that we need to put in our terminal and run it. So let, let's do that. I'm gonna open my terminal. All right, so I'm just gonna copy and paste this. All right, I'm just gonna paste it. Hit enter. And you're gonna see something like this. It can take maybe 30 seconds, um, depending on your computer. But it's, uh, it's very quick. All right, cool. If you run into errors, if you see errors, 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 and it's because of permissions, um, click on a link that I posted on this video so you can fix that. So we can just check if we have it. Browser sync version. And you will see the version. So we have browser sync. The version is everything is there, so it's working. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna click get started. And you can see we already did this. And um, we did the number one, which is install, install Node.js. We installed Browser Sync. And now let's start Browser Sync. So I have a project here. It's very basic. It's just, you know, HTML and CSS. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the terminal. I'm gonna go to find this project, which is this one um, is the folder outer reload. So let's go here and you can go to put CD. This is my folder. I'm going to drag it and dra drag it and drop it. Enter. And we are inside the folder now. So let's go back. And here he's telling us, um, for example, if we want to add a reload this CSS file. So let's just copy and paste this. But now I have an HTML file and a CSS file inside a folder. So I want to watch both. I want to whatever if I change this or this HTML file, I want to automatic reload my page. So let's go back there. And the way you do that is, um, for example, in my root folder, I have, I want every single HTML file and I'm going to put a comma here and I have a CSS folder, which is, this is good. And I want every single CSS file inside that CSS folder. All right. So this is looking good. If you want more, you can just put a comma and for example, put whatever folder you have and, um, and you, just like that. Okay. So for now I have just HTML and CSS. So I'm going to press enter and it's going to open for me automatically my page. And you can see that says a uh, local host. And uh, here, this is my, um, my path, local hold 3000. And this is my external path. Um, which I'm going to use, this is going to get interesting now, I'm going to use to go to my phone and check this out. So here I am in my phone, I just opened the browser and I'm just going to, I'm just going to put here the IP address that they gave me. It starts with one. I already have it here. So let's just go with that. Let's press go. As you can see, the page is here. So browser sync is connecting both. Let's scroll down a little bit and take a look at this. Actually, very interesting. They're both connected. So even if you scroll, it will scroll with you. Very interesting, huh? 
So let's change something on the code here. Let's say a little bit of padding. Let's say like 30 pixels. And you can, you can see that it will change in the phone. It will change in my browser too. Where is it? Let's put it in here so we can see it. All right, that's better. You can see that both are changing. Same thing with a different browser, for example. Um, I can open right now. All right, let's change the color. So I can open Safari. I can open um, Firefox. Let's see? So let's open um, Safari for, no, let's open Chrome. And this is localhost 3000. So it's the same exact thing. I'm gonna put one here, another here. Two different browsers. Plus the phone, this is getting, uh, this is kind of a mess. Um, let's change this. Look at that. All right, so I, I think this is very useful and um, I hope you like it and you can use it on your project. So that's it. Subscribe if you want to keep learning and click on the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day. Bye bye.